Step into the bustling, vibrant world of the farmyard, where every day is a new adventure waiting to be discovered. This isn't just a story about the animals we can easily see. It's a journey into the incredible, hidden partnerships between our favorite farm animals and their tiny, six-legged neighbors. From the sun-warm soil to the tall, swaying grasses, the farm is a living network of connections, where a cow's heavy hoof print can become a new world for a beetle, and a pig's playful role in the mud can help water a bee's favorite flower. Horses have lived on Earth for over 50 million years. Horses belong to the Equidae family, along with zebras and donkeys. Horses usually live for 25 to 30 years, but some live even longer. Horses can see almost 360 degrees around them, but they have two blind spots, right in front of their nose and directly behind them. Elephants are the largest land animals on Earth. African elephants are the biggest, while Asian elephants have smaller ears and rounder heads. Elephants live in savannas, forests, deserts, and swamps across Africa and Asia. They can carry loads over 600 pounds, 270 kilograms, with their trunks. Dogs are descendants of wolves and were the first animals domesticated by humans. Dogs have been living with humans for over 15,000 years. Dogs belong to the Canidae family, which also includes wolves, foxes, and coyotes. Dogs have an incredible sense of smell. Polar bear is the largest bear species and the largest land carnivore on Earth. A large male can weigh as much as 10 grown men. Polar bear can consume over 100 pounds, 45 kilograms of blubber in one sitting. Polar bears are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. Donkeys are known for their strength and endurance. They can carry heavy loads and travel long distances, even in hot and dry deserts. Donkeys have large ears that can hear sounds up to 60 kilometers, 37 miles away in the desert. Donkeys eat grass, hay, and shrubs, and they can survive on low-quality vegetation that other animals might reject. Rhinos have been on Earth for over 50 million years. Some of their extinct ancestors were woolly and lived during the Ice Age. Rhino horn is illegally trafficked for use in traditional medicine, despite having no proven medicinal value. Rhinos are large plant eaters, consuming vast amounts of grass, leaves, branches, and fruits daily. Frogs begin their life in water as tadpoles, which have gills and a tail. They undergo a remarkable transformation called metamorphosis to develop lungs and legs for life on land. Frog skin can breathe and absorb water. Many species also have glands that secrete peptides with potential antibiotic and pain-killing properties. Hippos spend about 16 hours a day submerged in water to keep their massive bodies cool under the hot African sun. Hippos secrete a reddish, oily substance from their skin. 
this blood sweat acts as a potent moisturizer, antiseptic, and sunblock. Hippos are so dense that they don't actually swim. Camels are known as the ships of the desert because they travel easily across sand. A camel's hump stores fat, not water. It's used for energy when food is scarce. Camels can drink up to 40 gallons, 150 liters of water in one go. Camels are very social and live in groups called caravans or herds. Cats are born hunters with sharp claws, quick reflexes, and excellent night vision. Even well-fed pet cats still love to chase toys, bugs, or shadows. It's in their nature. Cats can see in light six times dimmer than humans can. Their eyes have a special layer called the tepidum lucidum, which reflects light and helps them see in the dark. Moose thrive in cold climates thanks to a thick, insulating coat. They are so well adapted that scientists have found they don't even begin to feel the cold until temperatures drop far below zero. Moose often feed on aquatic plants. They can close their nostrils, which acts like a valve to keep water out while they graze underwater. Goats are among the oldest domesticated animals, raised by humans for over 10,000 years. Goats belong to the same family as sheep, called bovidae. Goats are raised for milk, meat, wool, and companionship. Goats have rectangular pupils, which help them see a wide view, almost 320 degrees around. Goats have strong, split hooves that help them climb rocks and steep hills. Cheetahs mainly hunt gazelles, impalas, hares, and other small animals. They rely on speed and strategy, stalking prey before sprinting to catch it. Mostly in open plains and savannas, and small populations exist in Iran. They need wide open spaces to spot and chase prey. Cheetahs are listed as vulnerable, with fewer than 7,000 left in the wild. Llamas are smart and can learn commands like walking on a lead or carrying a pack. Llamas are very clean animals, often using a common toilet spot in their herd area. Baby llamas are called crias. They can stand and walk within an hour after birth. Llamas are herbivores. They eat grass, hay, and other plants. Kangaroos are marsupials, which means the mothers carry their babies, called joeys, in a pouch. Kangaroos move by hopping. They can jump more than 25 feet, 8 meters, in one bound. Male kangaroos are called boomers, females are flyers, and babies are joeys. Kangaroos are herbivores, eating grass, leaves, and shrubs. Giraffes were long thought to be mostly silent. However, recent research suggests they hum to each other, primarily at night, and they also communicate using snorts, grunts, and moans. Giraffe populations are declining, and they are classified as vulnerable to extinction, mainly due to habitat loss, poaching, and civil unrest in parts of Africa.
Sheep are domesticated mammals that have been raised by humans for thousands of years. Sheep belong to the same family as goats, called bovidae. A sheep's body is covered in thick wool, which keeps them warm in cold weather. Sheep have horizontal pupils, giving them a wide field of vision. They can see almost 360 degrees. Zebras belong to the horse family, Equidae. They're close relatives of horses and donkeys. Zebras can run up to 65 kilometers per hour, 40 miles per hour, to escape predators. Zebras eat mostly grass but also leaves, herbs, and bark when grass is scarce. They spend most of the day grazing and their strong teeth are made for chewing tough plants. Lions spend up to 20 hours a day resting or sleeping. They're most active at night, nocturnal, when it's cooler for hunting. Lion cubs are born blind and helpless, with faint spots that fade as they grow. Lions live mostly in Africa, in savannas. A small population of Asiatic lions still survives in India's gear forest. Bulls belong to the same species as cows, Bos taurus. Bulls are known for their muscular build, strength, and aggression. Bulls can weigh anywhere from 1,000 to 2,400 pounds, 450 to 1,100 kilograms depending on the breed. Bulls have thick necks and powerful shoulders, that's what gives them their strength. Bison society is led by older, experienced females. The basic social unit is a nursery herd of females and their calves, led by a dominant cow. Bison are ruminants, meaning they have a multi-chambered stomach to ferment tough grasses. Bison calves are born with a reddish tan coat, earning them the nickname Red Dogs. Bison society is led by older, experienced females. The basic social unit is a nursery herd of females and their calves, led by a dominant cow. Bison are ruminants, meaning they have a multi-chambered stomach to ferment tough grasses. Reindeer are one of the few deer species to have been widely domesticated, primarily by the Sami people of Northern Europe and other Arctic indigenous groups. Reindeer are surprisingly vocal. They make a variety of grunts and snorts, and a unique clicking sound. Reindeer can see light in the ultraviolet UV spectrum. This is a unique adaptation that allows them to spot things that are otherwise camouflaged in the snow. Reindeer are one of the few deer species to have been widely domesticated, primarily by the Sami people of Northern Europe and other Arctic indigenous groups. and a pig's playful role in the mud can help water a bee's favorite flower. Get ready to look a little closer and discover a world of muddy tracks and buggy surprises. The farmyard is a stage for constant, fascinating interactions. Watch as a line of ants follows the scent trail left by a spilled grain of corn from the chicken coop, turning a simple peck into a treasure hunt for hundreds.